right outfit. I <laughs> I don't know what the right outfit for this slip would be. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I had to do this. I had to I had to, you know, play with it. The color is pretty, but yeah. Anyways. Hi everyone, how are you guys doing today? I'm really, really excited about today's video. We are going to do unboxing of the NYX Sugar Trip Advent Calendar. This is NYX's latest release. They have released quite a bit of product in the Sugar Trip collection. So when I saw this Advent Calendar, I kind of had my eyes on it and it was on sale on Ulta during the Black Friday sale. So, you know, obviously I had to pick it up this one retails for $55. It claims to be a $110 value. And uh, I paid, I think, $30 for it. Well, not really, because I use my points. You guys know I'm a points queen. So I think I paid about like three or four dollars for this gigantic box. It looks very pretty on the back side. It does kind of give you a glimpse of what is included, but you know, I haven't paid too much attention to it because I like a good surprise. Inside it has 24 compartments. So we are expected to get 24 different products for what was supposed to be $55. And even though I have gotten it cheaper, we are going to think of this as a $55 product and see if we actually get, you know, our money's worth out of this box based on, you know, what kind of shades we get. If the shades are kind of ugly and not really usable, then I'm gonna not count it in. I do love NYX as a brand. I like their eyeshadows. I like their prismatic singles. They are one of my favorite shimmer shadow formula. And uh, I do like their lipsticks as well, so let's see what we get inside you have this like really pretty very very colorful kind of a thing i am not a big fan of these kind of cartoons they scare me a little bit so you know let's just leave it at that oh good thing is that they go serially one two three four five so we don't have to kind of search for the next door i guess some people like it i personally don't so let's get in this okay this is door number one okay. and we get, what do we get? So we get Sprinkle Town Pop and Rock Highlighter Illuminator. Okay, so we get a highlighter inside. So that's the shade. It's pretty, pretty light, I would say. Seems to be duochrome. Oh yes, I have gone really, really lightly in it. So yeah, that's very, that's very usable. I like it. The door number two. So inside, we, what I see is a tiny little matte lipstick. Oh, this is a metallic. Okay, this is a soft matte metallic lipstick. And the shade is Nantes. Nantes. N-A-N-T-E-S. Um, the shade kind of scares me, I should say, but the, given that it is metallic, oh, it's very pretty. So that's the shade. It's like a rose gold almost. Oh yeah. Oh, it's very pretty. I think this will work very pretty as a topper. Okay. Okay. When I first saw the lippy, I was a little bit concerned that, you know, it was going to be this weird nude shade that I have seen from a lot of brands and it really doesn't work with me, but this is beautiful. I'm wearing a YSL cream lipstick which does not accept toppers okay so let's leave it here very pretty door number three looks like another lipstick from the size of it Ooh, that's a very pretty color so we have a nyx liquid suede lipstick in the shade star struck this looks like a really 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 pretty shade it's much more watery than i had expected it to be that's a liquid suede lipstick it's a very pretty, very beautiful pink color. Slightly dusty, but still more intense. Very pretty color. Door number four is a bigger door again. Not as big as one, so. Oh, I, I tore it. I'm not very happy about that, but looks like another little highlighter. This is called Cinnamon Spice. Ooh. Oh my God, this is so pretty. This one, I think, is almost like a dupe of one of the Becca highlighters 
I think it was uh, something Bellini or something reflects topaz. It has like a green shift to it. It is absolutely pretty. Am I wearing a highlighter today? I can wear it right now. I'm going to wear it right now. I like NYX duochrome highlighters. I have a few of them in my collection. That's it right there. Yes. The next one looks like a lippy again, number five. This is the Intense Butter Gloss in the shade Sweet Nothing. I like the packaging. The packaging is very pretty. The color is more cool tone that I usually go for. I'm not so sure about the texture. I'll have to let you guys know in a future video what I think about it. Interesting is what I would say. Which is kind of a code word for um, not that great. Okay, let's go with door number six. Oh, you have an actual lipstick in here. This is a mini size matte lipstick and the shade is Fluff piece. I'm not going to swatch this one because I'm almost certain that I will never use it. Since it's a matte lipstick, I'm assuming it's going to be opaque. If it was not opaque, I think I would have liked it. But at this point, uh, I'm going to say this is a no. Okay, door number seven. Look, so we have another soft matte lip cream. This shade is a little bit more um, cool tone, a little bit more dusty. It's almost identical in shade to the lip gloss that we just got. Just that this is matte. This is more, um, this is like shiny lip glossy. So I guess you could probably, you know, combine them together. Again, not my color. Door number eight is again big. It's another Paradise Fluff. This is a highlighter and the name of this highlighter is Candy Cloud. Another duochrome. This has a pink shift to it. I don't know if you can see it <laughs> among all the things that are going on. Let me add more. So yeah, so that's the green shift up here and then there is a pink shift one down here. Okay, door number nine. We are into the second row now. <gasps> Ooh, what is that? Look at that. It looks so pretty. This is called This Is Everything Lip Oil in the shade Cranberry Mint. The packaging is everything. It's so pretty. It's like so perfect for the holidays. It's more of a lip oil. So it is kind of gel like. Of course, you know, it's clear. It's right there. Yeah, it's clear, non sticky. So it would be. This is a nice thing to have. Never tried their lip oil, so I'm excited about that. I don't smell it much. Yeah, I don't smell much. Door number 10 is a NYX Slip Tease in the color Poppin. Another color I'm very sure I'm never going to use, so I'm not going to swatch it, but that's what it looks like. Door number 11 is another NYX Butter Gloss. This is more of a brownish shade, kind of more up my alley. This shade is called Glazy Days. It's pretty nude, but you know, I think I can use it. And I think it'll look good on me with a darker lip liner. Door number 12, we are halfway, almost, is Land of Lollies Blush. So that's pretty. It's a very pretty shade. It's a very subtle blush, I would say. It's here, so I guess one can build it up a little bit. So it's a subtle blush. I think this will be very pretty in the spring. Yep, I'm happy about that. Door number 13 is the Sweet Chateau Eyeshadow. Okay, the name of this eyeshadow is Cookie Cutter. It's like a very, very, very light, slightly peachy pink shade. For me, it's going to just be like a setting shade or a something to kind of blend out transition. I don't mind having it. It's a good size pan too. There's two grams of product in this eyeshadow. Okay, there's another similar door, number 14. This shade is called Candy Stash. It's like a light pink shimmer. It's very light, it's too light in my opinion. Eh, it's okay, it's not that great. So it's right there. It's more of a highlighter, I feel like. It's not that pigmented in my opinion, or rather, yeah, it's more shimmery than pink. 
Door number 15 looks like another lippy. Ooh, another sweet nothing lip oil. This shade is called Candy Pop. They don't have much of a smell. They don't have much of a tint. So basically you're just getting, you know, two lip oils in the smaller size. I don't mind that, especially during winter. Another lippy door, door number 16. What were they thinking? It's another pastel matte lipstick, but it's blue, so I'm gonna give it a try. These are very pigmented, very creamy. The color is kind of unusual. Not everybody would like it. The shade is called Sorbet. I like it. Will I wear it out? No, but I like the shade. Door number 17 is another lippy lip lingerie in the shade Slip. It's like a cool toned, pinky brown lipstick. I prefer this one to like this mauve shade here. So I'm happy about this one. Door 18, one more lipstick. Another liquid suede lipstick. This is more of a brownie shade called Peanut Brittle. This is an unusual shade. Ooh, it's a very pretty shade. I think it looks like one of the holiday releases by Too Faced Cosmetics in their gingerbread collection, doesn't it? I'm very happy about this one. Number 19 looks like an eyeshadow. Yeah, this particular one is called Sweet Tooth. It's a very chunky shimmer. It's more pigmented than the pink one we swatched earlier. This was where the pink one was. And then this is where I had just swatched this one. So. I like this one. This will make a very pretty kind of all over shade. Number 20 looks like another eyeshadow. This one is called Ripped Mocha. Ooh, very beautiful. <gasps> it's a beautiful, beautiful shadow. I think it would be a very pretty blush too, I think. Okay, we are on day 21. Another lipstick. This is a soft matte lip cream in the shade Keeve. It's like black or a deep, deep blue. That's an unusual color. <gasps> it's black. Okay, it's a black color, but this is a soft matte lip creams. Basically, these are not transfer proof, but I'm happy to get a black color. I wonder how these two would look in ombre. Day 22, last of the lipsticks, and it's a lip lingerie. The shade is called Deep Rooted. And that's the color right here. It's almost like the perfect color of poop. The last two look like two more eyeshadows. So day 23, we had eyeshadow called Twisted. Gray. Ooh, it's a shimmery gray too. Pretty color. And then we are on to the very last day, which is also an eyeshadow. This one is called In Deep Trouble. <gasps> so pretty. It's like a deep, deep, deep burgundy color. So that's the calendar. And I have to say with the exception of three lipsticks and one eyeshadow, you know, the pink one, which I'm not a big fan of, I like pretty much everything in here. So I would say I like 19 of those 24 items, five items I'm not that big a fan of. I paid $30 for the whole thing and I wonder if this is gonna stay on sale for $30. If it is, I don't think this is a bad price to get these, you know, 19 products that I really, really liked. On the back side, as I said, it does kind of give you a rundown of what to expect in here. But yeah, I think it was a lot of fun just unboxing my very first advent calendar. If you have tried other advent calendars, do let me know so in the comments below, you know, if you have like a favorite brand that you always pick up an advent calendar for, if you feel like there is a brand that I should try out you know maybe next year I don't think I'm gonna go and buy another advent calendar this year unless I find something really really cheap in maybe TJ Maxx you know I'm very curious about the TJ Maxx advent calendars that I saw if you guys haven't seen my recent video about the TJ Maxx finds definitely check it out you know I did find a few great things there Anyways, thank you again for joining me. I hope you guys like this video. If you're new, I hope you consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.